to weigh in. We welcome host of Watchdog on Wall Street, Chris Markowski. Good to see you, Chris. Haven't talked to you in a bit. So Great to see you. I, I don't know when this stops, I guess after after we're through all of this, <laughs> you could say after election day or after we get through this pandemic. I don't know. But what's your take on this? Is, it, is this too much or do we need this to keep going? I, I don't think we need it at all. It kind of reminds me of uh, similar checks that George W. Bush sent out prior uh, to the 2008 election. I, I called it the Incumbent Protection Act uh, of 2008. <laughs> you know, let's get everybody a flat, an extra flat screen TV. I, I don't understand how this is supposed to juice the economy, how it's going to go about helping small businesses out there. You've already People are already getting, if you're on unemployment, you're already getting $2,400 a month. How much money are we going to borrow? We are getting perilously close to where, where our debt or our, our budget is going to be 51 percent of our gdp that's it's never hit that point before and, uh, and just to make a, clear chris you're talking about the the deficit because yes uh, yes the deficit in one year being half of what we produce as an economy in one year you're not talking about the national debt which is now no. what 150 no. percent of it correct yeah i'm sorry about that and, and if you actually even take that number it's more money. They did the calculations, more money than we spent on the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, World War I, and World War II combined. When does it end? Chris, I know that the president mentioned maybe checks, but then some folks say, well, forget the checks. It's not going to do much. It's just a short, it's going to help you short term. But what about tax cuts, income tax? That's still going to put us in debt. That's still going to add to the deficit. I've heard them more along the lines of trying to do something in regards to payroll taxes. Uh, I haven't heard another income tax cut. I think capital gains might be uh, a benefit to get people to want to go out and invest uh, in new businesses and want to expand payroll tax. You want to give an incentive to hire uh, more people and bring people back on. Uh, but uh, I didn't hear anything in regards to uh, it as far as any sort of uh, uh, income tax uh, reduction. But no, I, I don't see where these taxes or where these, these checks are going to really make much of a difference. We already did it one time. Uh, we're at a point right now where unemployment actually look pretty good last time around. It actually could be much, much better if we can get people off the sidelines and back to work. But, but we, again, we, we allowed for this unemployment to go through July. And guess what? People are like, gee, I'm making more money on unemployment than I can to go back to work. So why bother? What about money putting people to work, fixing the roads and bridges and infrastructure package kind of thing? And that's always uh, everybody always gets excited about that, especially the, the unions get really excited about that, too, because it's money being spent. Uh, my concern is where is that money going to go? Uh, you got to think about the size of the package that we did last time. Uh, Barack Obama, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. I mean, that was small potatoes compared to what we're doing now. That was under a trillion dollars. And the concern is, OK, we got some company over here and a green job company over there. Uh, they call them shovel ready, ready jobs. But we all know nothing ever gets done. They, they, they supposedly start them, it gets delayed, and, and all we get is a lot of talk. Now, the next thing, you, you make it sound like we should only spend how much money we bring in, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Novel concept. Wow. How about, like, like you and I You're and everybody else. You're never going to be a politician. <laughs> Holy crap. Keep your day job because you're definitely not going to work never in politics. Never be a politician. <laughs> no. All right. Chris Markowski, thanks so much for joining us today.